let me refresh. Let me make sure the sound is good and you can see me, hear me before we start. And it's been one hell of a week. Uh, Marshall's pretty dry. Ross, also a little dry. Burlington, the only thing kind of helping us right now. And then we have eBay news. We have new releases coming out this week. Uh, a lot of things to cover. So let me see who's in the chat before we start. All right, let me see. Patrick, William, Stevie D, Carlos from Laredo, Texas, Souls and Stitches, Ricky and Brown Town Finds, uh, Russia. Hopefully, I said your name uh, right. Carlos, Sneaky Feet, Fly Kicks, Paper Drew, Carlos Lex on eBay, Paper Drew, Blended Steels, Curtis, True. Hope I said your name right. And man, this thing's going a little bit quick. <laughs> happy, happy camper. Doug the Pug. Mike Reese, Paula, Carol, Marcos, eBay, Joey, Walter, Jibby, Garcia, Will. What's up? Uh, M. Sotelo also here. Flips Anonymous. Gonzalez Bros. Uh, Sneaker Finds 12. And District Deals. Doing very well out there. Abby. And Alfredo skins for life, extra grants. Matthew still kicking at sports. And Chris Reynolds, Max M, XMS, more people coming in. And where should we start? Let me see. Let me get this uh, out of the way and make sure this is right. Okay. Can you see the slideshow so we can start? The amount of dolphins emails and dms i get is hilarious um i know we're tanking and you can follow our tank at tankathon.com slash nfl not an affiliate of this show and if you want to see the thing that really blows my mind is that there's actually teams making this very difficult for us uh we're trying to lose on purpose we're trying to get the number one pick and teams like the jets and bengals and Denver, they're making this very, very difficult. Even if the season ended today, the Jets would get the number one pick. Are you kidding me right now? Uh, Pittsburgh losing does help us, so we're at three and four. But if you want to follow that tank, you can. Uh, <laughs> let me see what the uh, chat says. Uh, everybody else, if your team's winning, they're somewhat down here. You really don't care for the draft. That's the only thing I really have to look forward to is April of 2020. Okay, let's get into word of the week. Word of the week, CEO. And you know where this is going. You know where this is heading, right? So today, uh, Devin stepped down as eBay CEO. We met him, what, two years ago, eBay Open, I believe, uh, me and Kenny. And uh, let's see, so this morning, stepped down from role as CEO. And uh, he joined the company eight years ago this month as president of its global marketplace division. And he was appointed to CEO role in 2015 following eBay's spinoff of PayPal. Now, it came interesting little side note. It says uh, eBay has come under pressure this year from activist investors who are pushing it to sell off parts of its business and boost its stock price and sales growth. The company has lost ground to Amazon, the dominant inter internet retailer, and has struggled to attract both buyers and sellers to its site. Now that, I do agree on. I mean, buyers and sellers, that's pretty tough to swallow because that's exactly what's going on here. I know they're losing to Amazon, but eBay is its own thing. It needs to focus on being its own thing. And instead of trying to be the next Amazon, because Amazon, they're they're already their own giant, and they're trying to take down Walmart. They're doing their own thing. Uh, Dapper Fanatic, what's up? Uh, how about promoted uh, promoted listings? We're going to talk about that, and which we're going to get to. Hustler hacks for CEO. Now, if eBay is watching, let me. These are just like 10, 11 things on top of my head. Um, I don't even look that into it, but just some things I was just randomly thinking about and put it all in here. So the first thing I would do if I was CEO, of course, um, I would hire Hustleby as assistant CEO, more like, well, assistant to the CEO. So he'd be more of like a Dwight Schrute type of relationship there. 
Um, promoted listings, they got to figure this thing out. So last week, you know, Rally Roots had a video talking about promoted listings. I got an email from eBay telling me about promoted listings on the, you know, to clarify things. And it, it did not sound right as far as like promoted listings. Here's my question though for the chat. Do you use promoted listings? Um, and if you do, why do you like it? Or maybe you don't like it at all. Obviously your fees jump up depending on the percentage that you're using. Uh, trending percentage, maybe it's like 7%. Maybe you wanna match that. Maybe you just do 2% or 1% for everything. Maybe you don't use it at all. I can definitely see all of those takes why you would or wouldn't. Uh, but promoted listings to me is still a mess. The thing is that I don't like, and we actually told them uh, when me and Ken were there in the eBay office, the thing I don't like about promoted listings, if you do, you know, let's say two or 3%, right? Uh, and you accept an offer, it doesn't tell you if it was a sale through promoted listings or not. So you don't know, it's like, should I take this offer? And then I'm also gonna be paying more in fees. I don't know how much I'm paying in fees. So that kind of messes things up. It's just, it's a, it's a mess that has to be fixed. Probably one of the first things, uh, reach out to younger market. So many like 16, 17, 18, 19 year olds have no clue. eBay exists. Depop, StockX, Goat, Mercari, all of these are coming up and eBay still left behind. Why? Cause they don't change anything. Very old school look and feel younger market. Don't even care. Uh, returns, what's the deal with that? Like they have um, so many different policies. Like, can they take returns? No returns? Should they just do like a flat thing? Like 14 days for every single listing, maybe 30 days, maybe none. I mean, it has to be like a clear policy on everything. And there's like so many different ones for returns. Uh, back to basics, sell anything, buy anything. eBay really has to count on that and not try to be Amazon do their own thing and uh, easier shipping for sellers. I wish I could just send in all of my emails that I get from new sellers asking about shipping. Like can't figure the shipping thing out. Like why is it so confusing? I don't blame you as a new seller. I blame eBay. It is confusing. Like if you're selling on Mercari, StockX, Goat, things like that, they're going to send you the label and it's pretty easy to follow. Here you got to figure things out how on how USPS works. Do you really want to figure that out? Even uh, USPS is like old school. Um, you don't want to go through all that. Uh, Pirate Ship has better rates. So eBay, even though you're selling on their platform, can't even give you the best rates possible uh, to sell as far as like shipping goes. Got to fix that. Take out fees immediately. Uh, you get a monthly bill that comes in uh, from everything you sold and all of your fees when really just take that out as soon as it sells. It just be way easier. Immediate payment. We already talked about this almost like all the time about accept the best offer and they still don't have to pay. This is like the only platform where someone can buy something and literally not pay for anything. They don't have to pay. They don't want to pay. And it's just a total waste of time. You're just sitting there and they have to open a case. Meanwhile, the fee thing's still sitting there. It's like, come on, man. Um, trust in buying and selling. So there's so many fakes, fake jerseys, shoes, purses, anything you can think of, sunglasses. There's fakes on there. People don't even trust the site. How can you trust the site as a buyer if there's so many fakes running around? And like, if I'm on Mercari looking at something, I'll look at like as many photos as possible, you know, inside tag, or is this going to be legit? But at least, Go and StockX, you should be getting something real. I think it's very, very rare if something is fake. They should have people checking that kind of stuff. But eBay, it's like you have to check every single thing to make sure you're getting a legit item. Smoother, cleaner website, which I don't think they've changed since 99. And some store coupons, promotions. They ran it you know, once in a while. Hey, if you buy something, $100, you get $20 off as a buyer. Just some things that will help bring in more people to buy stuff from eBay and want to buy stuff from eBay. They haven't really done that. Influencer marketing as well, trying to get to the younger market. Uh, now nah, that's just uh, just a couple of things. Uh, I don't know. Just some, some things to start off with. How about that? So Hustler Hacks for CEO. 
Um, I'm applying through Upwork, and hopefully I get that uh, that job. All right, let's get into weekend releases. Enough about eBay. <laughs> we can go on all night on eBay and the uh, good and bad. Okay, weekend releases. And we talked about this, what, remember we did a giveaway, what, months ago about Air Max 97 based off the Nintendo 64? So smash or pass for this weekend release Air Max 97 Atmosphere Gray. $170 and comes out actually today. <laughs> so uh, unofficially inspired by the Nintendo 64 and executed with light gray mesh that's paired with green, blue, red, and yellow accents to represent the gaming system's colorful buttons. Uh, pass, 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 smashing. Uh, they were released Foot Locker last week. Uh, that came out today. They switched it up last minute, pass and smash, pass and pass. So a little mix on these. I think they're pretty cool. I don't really know about reselling how that's going to look. And let me see, pass, color is kind of weird, uh, available on sneakers. So there you go, the 25th, Wednesday, September 25th, which is today. Next one, Bodega New Balance. No bad days. So this one comes out on Friday. Price one hundred sixty dollars, and a bodega location. So we'll follow up. It's no days off. A collab with launch of the latest no bad days colorway that features combination of materials including distressed leather, hairy suede, and mesh across its upper. Uh, do you care about New Balance? Do you care about New Balance collabs? Smash or pass. Uh, for these that come out on Friday. Smash for resale. Pass Doug the Pug. Backdoor specials from Gabe. Uh, pass Smash. Uh, comes with four different laces. Pretty cool. I think I'm going to the other one. Or this one? Or the other one? Uh, they look all right. Smash for resale. Big Bricks. DFW Kicks. Uh, resale value Smash. But probably sit for a while on Goat. Looks like a Franken shoe. Smash, uh, smash for New Balance, sell well in my experience. There we go. Sneak your feet. Uh, ugly, smash, and New Balance fit me great. Wide sizing. Dapper Fanatic, letting everybody know in case you want to get them a pair. All right, next one. Nike OBJ Joyride flying in. I've had, you know, I've heard really good things about the Joyride. Very, very comfortable, very light shoe. Um, Odell Beckham Jr., whether you're a fan of them or not, uh, two different colorways for the Joyride Flyknit. So it comes out on Friday, $200, not messing around. So OBJ will follow up his Nike Air Max 720 collab with two new Joyride Flyknit sneakers. So we have this one, like a red and black, and then we have another one, which is a gray, and I don't know what kind of green that is. Um, so there's a joyride in there. Smash or pass for a collection or to resell. Let me see. J Rock New Sub, appreciate that. Yuck from Carol. Uh, District Deals, God no. Pass, pass, pass hard on those. Nope. Smash resell is solid. Kermit says I would wipe my ass with those. Uh, let me see. Nah, nah, no. Meh. Pass. And pass and pass. So yeah, no one's really a fan of the OBJ Joyride. About Joyride in general. Maybe not Joyride flying it, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> new uh, Joyride equals new school shocks. Uh, so there we go. Uh, let's see, water gets stuck and in inside the Joyrides? Oh man, that sucks. Especially for 200 bucks. All right, next one. Uh, the Zoom Pegasus, I know you want me to read this, um, and I always butcher this name, so I'm not even going to try. 160, come out tomorrow, September 26th, and uh, Jun Takashi will take his latest Nike, uh, <laughs> you know, collection to trail featuring two contrasting colorways of the Air Zoom Pegasus 36 trail in red and yellow based colorways. Smash or pass 160. Uh, pass. Ew, pass. Hell no. <laughs> All right, maybe some of these weekend releases, they're pushing it a little bit. Uh, I would not give you $50 for those. <laughs> um, 
Uh, Chango says, Kaka, nose pass and uh, hella pass. No way. And we're leaving them at that. Maybe they'll come to the outlet uh, near you. Let's see, ugly, trash, doo doo, no way, Jose for trail running. Heck yeah. Dapper Fanatic, resell, no. Next one Nike LeBron 17 Future Air, $200. How do we feel? about these LeBrons, Friday, September 27th. I don't know if you guys caught the unboxing, but it was pretty cool, though, like unboxing LeBron 17. They made a big deal about it. looked pretty cool. But uh, how do you feel about this model, though, as far as the look? I don't know how they feel. I don't know how they are in hand, uh, but 200 bucks. Entering his 17th season in the NBA, LeBron, latest Nike signature basketball sneaker will be hitting shelves this week. In the future, Air makeup boasting a knit posit upper while incorporating a Zoom Air and Air Max cushioning setup in the midsole. So let me go back to the uh, <laughs> to the chat. So a future DD's discount, okay? Uh, pretty sick looking. I like. Uh, look at three legs. Says looks like it has an STD. <laughs> Uh, let's see, you look better in a different colorway. Future outlet finds maybe I don't like LeBron at all from Eugene. Outlet bound from Iron Lion. I like the swoosh. Uh, let me see. Fire, I would wear them, but I but oh man, this thing went quick. I wouldn't wear them, but I like them. Let's see, my shoe has corn rolls. A LeBron herpes 17. <laughs> um, and this is why I love the chat. And actually, when the first time I saw them. I didn't, I didn't like this design. Um, it did make me feel a little herpes. Like I was kind of like, uh, like maybe you want to like pop pimples or something like it just, I don't know. Well, let's see what different colors that come out. Uh, yeah. Midsole swoosh look pretty cool, but for 200, just like everything else, all the other LeBrons out there, they push it to the limit. And then we have, you know, so many different colors and they're all over the outlets and they're cheap. So that'll probably happen with this one. Next one, Adidas Easy Boost 700 V2 in hospital blue. And uh, if you work at a hospital, this is probably the only thing you can rock this with. I'm tired of the 700s and come 300 bucks. Comes out on Saturday, September 28th. Of course, adidas.com slash Yeezy. And uh, colorways of the Yeezy Boost 700 continues to pile up with the latest addition that features a tonal light blue mesh and suede upper with a signature Boost midsole sitting underneath. All right. What does the chat say? <laughs> chat knows what's up. Uh, <laughs> model. Oh, I think it was the other one. Uh, Boost V2Y. Those are all right. Uh, shake my head dumb Eh, resell only those are trash good for customs pick up for resale low-key not feeling them grandma's old couch 700s 700 needs to die <laughs> please no more 700 releases doo-doo from paper drew 700 is just not for me um <laughs> uh christopher what's up dookie from still kicking it sports and can Yeezy please do a new silhouette already? Uh, I know they're just uh, they're cranking them out. And if you look at uh, the V2s that are coming out, the 350s, everything else, it's just like so many different colors. And I think January uh, or December, January, yeah, it's getting it's getting wild. Uh, waxing people with these, um, but are they reflective? I don't think they are actually. Good if you work in a hospital. <laughs> exactly. Uh, all right. So we pretty much got our take on that one. Maybe in a red color. We don't give them any more ideas because they will make red and every other color. Here we go. Jordan 1 Retro High OG First Class. How do you feel about these in the chat? Uh, smash or pass? So when I was looking at, you know, resale, what do they look like right now? And they're actually not bad, which I was really surprised because I don't think this model is that great. Like, I'm not feeling the color, the barcode thing, little Jordan signature. Um, and, of course, I'll, you know what? Let me just read it. 
Uh, first class Air Jordan 1 taps into the silhouette's rich heritage with micro perforations, which I don't like. Uh, covering the premium white leather upper that's paired with yellow underlays and barcodes. And uh, yeah, small sizes right now, they're already doing well. So you'll probably do well on these if you want to pick them up. Uh, we'll go through the breakdown for foot action and foot locker. So let me see what the chat says. Yellow ruins it. Resell for sure. Uh, smash on seven and a half through nine. Smash for the collection. Smash. Smash for resale. Looks like someone peed on my Air Force One. How bright is the yellow? Yellow can be hot and cold color. Yeah, this looks really, really bright. A uh, little Laker colorway. A little bit. Let me see. If it was all black with the yellow. Yeah, true. Hype Beast will drive this one up. Could happen. Perforations. Dookie for sure. Paper Drew. Pass from Abby. If these are not, if these are not for resale limited, I don't think anyone would care what they look like. These would be dope if it was 1998. So 160 come out on Saturday. And here's the breakdown. Uh, we did this a uh, couple of the releases for Jordan 1s. So foot locker on top, foot action on bottom. And uh, foot action, we're actually getting them both. El Paso is getting both of them. Kind of surprised. So that also tells me that there should be quite a bit out there for people to be picking up. But it looks like Foot Locker is getting most of them. And if you go to like Nevada, Oregon, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, look at this. Uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska. Man, no one's getting any of these there. New Mexico as well. They come down to El Paso. Uh, Kansas, even Oklahoma is only getting one. Uh, Iowa is getting one. So foot action being a little stingier about it. But foot locker, man, look at this. They're just piling up uh, all over here on East Coast, West Coast as well. Pick up as many pairs as you want. But uh, foot locker is probably going to be your best bet right now. So uh, Browntown Fine still going to sell out. Cop for small resale. Uh, let me see. Rest in peace, Wyoming and Minnesota. How much do they go for in Mexico? Uh, looks like Foot Locker is because of the bigger pins. Maybe. And uh, Wyoming's, uh, what? He's beat. Snicker finds 12. So it looks like even Brownsville is getting them. So there's the breakdown on these. And our last one. So Jordan 34 Blue Void. Smash or pass. 180 actually came out today. Sneakers app and select retailers. So after its official unveiling earlier this month, Jordan 34 will debut in the blue void colorway. It features semi-translucent textile upper that's combined with a signature and responsive eclipse plate at the midsole. Very nice. It looks like we have pass. Jordan, please stop. Pass. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Manucci23, appreciate that. Uh, outlets soon, retail way too high, hard pass, hell yeah, smash from Walter, not for me, this in it, Chief, smash for resale, Curtis says, cool. Uh, colorway is cool, I really don't know how the shoe feels, never tried it on. Jordan uh, 33, we saw the outlets, some of the older ones even hit Marshalls, so this one, uh, like Taquette says, Marshall's for 70. So that could happen. So Jordan 34, Blue Void, which leads me to giveaway time. So I know you guys are ready. Giveaway. Today we have $25 for Burlington with a nice little thank you gift card. So Burlington, which is the only one that uh, actually has some heat out there because Marshall's Bone Dry. Let me get some water first before we get into this giveaway. <laughs> and here's the breakdown for the last couple of winners. The Dapper Fanatic, Jaime, and Jose both won. So that was, or all three of them won, September 4th, 11th, 18th. This will be the last, I think, giveaway, yeah, for September. So the next live show will be October, and we'll get brand new winners. So these three people cannot win uh, this giveaway. But next month, they are set. Zombri says fins up. I wish you could do a Dolphins question. So the release of Jordan 34 made me think more about past Jordans. And I was thinking, you know, 
I don't know, my uh, my memory is a little fuzzy when it comes to older Jordans. Not super old, but like that weird 2000 range. So all you got to do is tell me. They don't have to be in uh, Roman numerals. All you have to do is tell me. Do you know the Jordan numbers of these? Top to bottom, Jordan what? Number what? If you think it's 33, then you'd say 33, 34, and 31. So all I need are three sets of numbers. And you will win uh, $25 to Burlington. So I'm going to double check my answers, make sure we're set. You can put in the answers and we will see. And this one was, man, <laughs> let me go back. Okay, so Porsche 911, no. 1999, no. Answer orange, no. Porsche, no. Uh, very close. 11, Jordan 33, no. False, no. And Robert 30. 2028 20, Robert McCormick you have won and that is a Burlington gift card $25 I can ship that out tomorrow along with uh, another gift card that I was super late to so Robert a little too easy for you you got that one super quick uh, so 30 20 and 28 so yeah Robert did get it right it was the first one so congrats to you Let's go from Roberts. Who's pumped up on that one, man? I uh, really had to think about it, and these are kind of uh, some of these maybe not lost Jordans, but this twenty-eight they just win overboard. I and mean, this is this is wild. Even the twenty though, I hated this thing. Um, I hated this ankle. I don't know what that is. Yeah, so just email me, Robert, and uh, and uh, we will ship that out tomorrow. So next month. Better giveaways, new gift cards, and brand new winners. And I'll think about some new questions. <laughs> Maybe more Ross Burlington questions and less Jordan. But either way, it related to our, our weekend releases. So we had to do it. Okay. Here we go. Let's get into store updates. And I haven't had a single Burlington find since I received my gift card from TDBS Marketplace. I don't like to hear that. Uh, extra Grand's my Nike outlet is still whack. Um, studying all those Jordans worked out from robbery. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, so store updates. And Ross coming out with two more stores they're gonna release or open, I should say, on October 12th. So the first one, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, October 12th. If you're in this area, Go to the Oak Summit Shopping Center, northeast corner of West Haynes Mill Road and Summit Square Boulevard. So brand new Ross, try to get there, grand opening. And for Pottstown, Pennsylvania, if you're in that area, October 12, 22,000 square foot store located at the Upland Square Shopping Center. So north, what southwest corner of Highway 100 and Upland Square Drive. So two new ones, um, and uh, let's see if you go to the brand opening ones. Do they ever give anything special for opening day? That's not far from me. Uh, they don't. They did get mad at me for recording since corporate was there at one of the grand openings. But as far as anything special, they're not like Burlington. Burlington does give a discount. Ross, they're a little bit more shysty, and you're just there for the grand opening, trying to get some fines. So um, they don't do anything that special. Uh, Marshall's news, which the only new thing, I'm pretty sure you saw it all over IG and Facebook. They have signs right there in the front. Um, and uh, Marshall's launches online store. So they made a huge deal about it, unveils a new store, First ever online store. Look at all these headlines. Uh, just by shopping at Marshalls, you can save $154 on these eight major beauty buys. Five spectacular designer finds from Marshalls' new online store. If you go on there, you know that uh, you're not going to find foam posits. So that's really what you wanted. Like if you wanted the women's foam posits, or maybe you wanted some Air Max Plus, that's not going to happen. And this is pretty much what it looks like if you're a dude and you're looking on Marshalls, looking at the site, this is what you have to work with. U.S. Polo Association, that should tell you everything. 
reveal designer. I'm just going to take a wild guess and say Levi's. I mean, I, I don't, maybe uh, this is what they give us. So you can't really be that too hyped uh, for Marshall's online. So that it is what it is. Keep going to Marshall's in store though. And you can get some really good stuff. Gucci all over the site though. District deals. Very true. Um, and I want the full cage Fila high tops, sneaky feet. So clothing wise though, and some shoes, you're looking at like Levi's and boots and other stuff like that. So I think that's it for Marshall's. Yeah, I guess that's it in general. So power rankings time and we got 30 minutes and trust me, I think we probably had the most tags ever. Um, <laughs> this one was insane. A lot of great finds. Unfortunately, not for me when it comes to Marshalls. And even Ross this week has been a little dry. But last week, Didi's discounts at five. Still, no one tagged us to anything for Didi's discounts. Number four, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, and Burlington at number one. So Didi's doesn't change. Actually, they might go down next week. We just get like one fourth of a star because no one's tagging us on anything. They have to earn it. If they want to grow, they want to go up this thing, you can't slack it, and they've been slacking. TJ Maxx at four, two stars. Gloves coming back. I don't know. Uh, foams and Air Force One. So here we go with TJ Maxx first. Uh, TDBS Marketplace with the C Salute to Service Kansas City Chiefs, which are winning, unlike my Miami Dolphins. $40, not bad, and Souls and Stitches with Nike Lab Energy Parka and $129. Retail $350. Bucks. Thing is crazy. And this looks like, uh, I don't know, if if it was navy blue and you were going as Michael Myers for Halloween, definitely rock something like this. Get the mask, knife, play knife, you're done. And but 130 though, a little pricey. Uh, thrifting together and Carolina kicks. Look at that salute to service gloves. Never seen that before. I don't know what I don't know if they're just like general NFL gloves or they're actually like team salute to service. But Carolina kicks, I think, in the chat, let us know. Vapor Jet normally wouldn't pay $20. But uh, I think that's I think that's awesome. I've never seen them. And then here we have Texans and Falcons from Thrifting Together on the gloves. So both TJ Maxx finds. All right, next one, Hustle to Win, Souls and Stitches, and Yes Dog 27, $40 each. And we have the Women's Vandal 2KLX Floral. And are these selling well in the chat? I know you can keep me posted on these. Uh, I did go to TJ Maxx today, and I went to, like, a hell of a lot of Rosses. Uh, I didn't see this. I also didn't see some other ones. Um, but this one, if they're selling well, I think they're solid pickups. I didn't do the research. I haven't seen them. TDBS listed 2019 Mahomes Hallmark Ornaments. Go out and get it. Very interesting. Hallmark Ornaments do sell well. Didn't know they had a Patrick Mahomes. Let's see, still waiting, TJ3499, general gloves, but good comps. Okay, very good. And uh, high-end jeans, Red Tech at Marshalls and TJ, selling for about 100 a pop. Very nice, too. Doug the Pug. And Jimmy says, found these at Marshalls. So that was it for TJ Maxx. We didn't have a whole lot going on. A couple of uh, tags and some clothing, gloves, and shoes. All right, number three, Marshalls. Air Max Plus still out there, some New Balance foam posits, clearance finds, and even some football jerseys. So three stars that did move up slightly. Here we go, thrifting together with two finds, Beavis and Butthead Adidas hoodie. That's pretty sweet. And only $25, so I like that. And then this one is uh, Special Field Systems. Nike backpack. I don't know what the retail is. I can, I'm pretty small right there, but pretty sweet find too. Never seen that one. A uh, sneaky hustler with a Nike tech pack pants started to come out. So you can pick those up. And a uh, breezy finds. I remember this hoodie at the uh, outlets and I was slacking in. I was like, you know what? I'll pick them up another time. I thought it was pretty cool. And then they were gone. Uh, McCaffrey college jersey as well. And looks like some uh, foam posits hiding 
right there in the cart. So very nice. Breezy finds. Sneaker Boston Goyard bag while thrifting. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Where are we? I'm going to cook some spam. <laughs> yeah, we should uh, we should get this guy. Let's see. Where are we? All right, oh, here we go. And we're all my um, people supposed to be monitoring the chat. Zach and a Gritty Girl Boss are hidden today. Beavis and Butthead hoodie is fire for sure. Uh, let me see. I need that hoodie to match the shoes. So be on the lookout for this one. I think it's pretty dope. Even though it is Adidas. And checks over stripes. We already know that. Uh, let me go back up. Glenn, did you do TJX Rewards Members Mornings? I did not. Extra grand. Uh, but thanks for that reminder. Let me see. No spamming from Zombies. Okay, next one. Activate Hustle Mode. $70 Ultra Boost Laceless. And I'm sorry who this was. Uh, you got taken out and blocked by uh, Shoe Finds. So Shoe Finds with the Pharrell. $49. Size 8.5. Not bad. I haven't seen this one out there. And Aaron's Retro 09. Found some. Let's see what Jordan and kd8 on clarion so ultra boost coming back i don't know how well these sell um i haven't seen those in a while actually and then 40 bucks for the uh, air max plus all right with man there's a whole mix of stuff sneaker finds 12 on clearance for vapor max utility 52 dollars, kind of like a maroon color uh new balance coming back electric relish picked up some pairs there uh, look at that Clay Matthews uh, USC jersey, activate hustle mode, and moon merch, majestic Atlanta Braves stars and stripes jersey on clearance went down to 12 bucks. So here we go. All of these finds. Which one do you like? And uh, utility, not bad. $52. Don't know how well this color, though, um, is selling. But uh, utility, how many loans have we seen? I think the best one has to be the all red one uh, that we've seen at Burlington. At least some people have seen at Burlington. And uh, yeah, Braves 12 bucks, not bad. Uh, Latasha, Braves jersey worth it. Next one, now we start getting into the foams. People winning here with the foams. I wish I have found these. $45, Fabes finds, which pff, this is what, 12 pairs? Uh, a tribe called Steels with uh, one, two, three, maybe like six pairs. Flip that hustle, got four pairs. Sneaker finds 12 with three pairs. Eight, eight and a half, seven and a half, nine and a half, eleven. And this is just ridiculous. Fabes finds wins this one. Uh, where are you located? So pure fire from Carter. This says right there. Let's see. I got six yesterday. Nice. Doug the Pug, how much? They are $44.99. How much are they reselling for? Um, I mean, they should do, be doing well unless people start selling them immediately. <laughs> Let's see. Foam Flood? I don't think so. Uh, when you have it complete with box, you're pretty much winning at this point, especially at $44. Cheaper than Ross Burlington you know, without a box and they were charging what 59. So totally different $45. I would hold on to these very low cost complete with box. I think you're set. Let me see. I actually have the capital. I just need a stack of foams. We all need a stack of foams for sure. I uh, sold them 145 on stock X from Edgar easy. What after fees, 85, $95. Sold two of them, StockX 160, very nice, and selling 150 to 180, um, 130 plus at least, exactly minimum, and bigger sizes are killing from Gabe. So there's one to look out for. If you had to find one, Marshall's find, it would be this one. Man, that was it. I feel like, I feel like we got gypped. I thought we had way more people on Marshall's. At least we should have. It looks like foam deposits. What's the main one? Okay, Ross, three and a half at number two. Burlington is still number one. Uh, they cannot be beat, especially lately. Vapor Max, Vapor Max, Vapor Max everywhere. So, okay. Activate Hustle Mode, Souls and Stitches, Carolina Kicks, and Dapper Fanatic. So, Carolina Kicks said, even Ross recognized this shirt isn't worth anything. 
So Ross apparently put a tag on it and there's no price. Um, free, maybe free. Definitely take those. <laughs> um, Brady with the Michigan jersey, Jordan Michigan jersey, soles and stitches. That's a nice pickup. Activate hustle mode, giant salute to service, pullover, or maybe it's a full zip. Can't really tell, but $24, not bad. Dapper fanatic with a Jordan jacket. And it was dirty and four, so it was a little dirty in the Jordan jacket. But, hey, something different. Very nice. Let me see. Dunks equal paycheck. Uh, when can I get my Daniel Jones salute to service jersey? Yeah, Eli is done. Naughty Dog trading. Uh, two different pairs of the Dunks. Limited edition Dunks popping up left and right. And then soles and stitches here for the Air Max 90 Winter Camo. $49. Steel Provider says uh, Nike Go Dome is uh, flooded. I'm surprised there's still of them out there. I thought they were gone. People aren't picking them up. That tells us everything. We know they're expensive. $65. We also know there's plenty of them listed. So uh, there's that breakdown. But the Dunks, interesting enough. And I didn't get tagged on it, uh, but someone found Dog Walker dunks but i didn't get tagged or i don't know if maybe it was on my ig or not let me double check on here um so i didn't think that one was part of it maybe they tagged me late then it won't make it until the next live show but i didn't see it on here no i didn't see it so i think these are the dunks we can see on here uh but dog walkers very interested even though i do have a personal pair but finding them at ross totally different Okay, uh, LP sells and CDM flips and Breezy finds and soles and stitches again. Air Max Deluxe at 65. Breezy finds with the high end cleats. Easy pickup at 20. Uh, the Dion's very nice, but not liking the price at 65. And a quick couple of grade school grabs for Monday lunch break. And so there we go with the Jordans. But here I do like the football cleats. They're at $20. I think Burlington still has them at a $16.99. So super good deals, especially if you're low on capital, trying to learn the resale game. I would go for $20 fines, build that up. Of course, thrifting, things like that for uh, capital restraints instead of going something like this. This would be one of those uh, really, uh, I don't know, buys that could get you in trouble if you don't have a lot of money. And here we go again with, <laughs> so flipping dollars calling them pipe dreams because of how many of them are out there and what we're expecting to resell them for. Interesting enough, I have not found these at all. I have not seen them in my area, nothing. Iconic steals and deals, did get some dunks in there. Uh, Super 6-4, two pairs. Russell resells, four pairs. Hustle bin looks like another four or five pairs and flipping dollars did see them here took a picture of them size 10 at 80 dollars and i forgot what he said i think flipping dollars is in the chat but what the uh what they're climbing to now how many listings are out there for this shoe um i know hustle b did find i think two pairs he did pick them up and he said he's going to be patient on them so i think at this point if i did see them Putting in $80, ugh, I just, didn't we talk about it last time, how this looks like more of a supply versus supply, <laughs> how there wasn't a supply and demand for this shoe. I don't even know this shoe existed, actually, um, at least for this, like, what is it, China Hoop Dreams, I think it's what it's called. Let me go to the chat and see. I might return those China Hoop Dreams, so from Pip. Uh, glad I never found any of these. I'm about to go deep on these Carolina kicks. Too much supply, Doug the Pug. Uh, 450 plus flipping dollars on how many listings are out there. Uh, $80, yes, these are 80 bucks. Comparable value, 150. Lucky on three legs as I passed. Sold one for 148. Blended steals, okay. Um, is this a shoe that you wait for the flood to dry up? Um, or maybe you wait for this to go down on clearance. Um, you could do that. But I guess kind of just going through it, like even sneakerheads, I don't know if they're really into this shoe or not. Like I don't see it being 
that that popular and high in demand. Um, that's probably one of the main issues with the, at least with this uh, shoe, but who knows? Right, let's go to the next one. Yes, dog 27 uh, flip the script and flip Corey flip and 365 deals Air Max 97. Here we have some 97s, 270s, and some plus in there. Decent finds today. Really good finds. Uh, flip the script. So up tempos, $50. And up tempos, we did see this one at a recent video, $40 for kids in a size six. Um, anything here you guys like? I do like these 270s. I think that's pretty cool. I, I like the color, something a little different. Uh, how do we feel about the camo 97s? And up tempos, if I did see them, I would still pick them up. I haven't seen them. Florida flipping 365 deals again, hustle to win and common fan finds. So first Vapor Max Plus on here. I would definitely rock this shoe in this color. So if I find them, I'm keeping them. This one utility $75. I think he said he left them behind. Price wasn't there. I agree, 75, especially for this shoe. Uh, this one, solid, $65, Florida flipping. Um, that one's a pickup, 365 deals. Found the same one here in red. Also, Vapor Max 2019 in blue. I do think that one's women's, I think. Um, 65? I thought they were 49. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. So, solid finds here. I think they just get even better. Souls and Stitches, LP Cells, 365 deals again. Soul Searching's on, same one in red, 270s. I think they call these Tiger or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I made that up. Seven tw uh, 270s at $70 here. I think that's the color we saw in the last one. And also some Vapor Max. But these are the ones that were a little harder to move. So I don't know what the price is for this one. Hopefully like 49. If they're 59, 69, I think that one might be difficult. Do the research. Let's see. Sold that orange 270s months ago. Nice. Sneaky feet. Uh, flip the script 270s. So these are out here. I do like this colorway. Flip Corey Flip. So found these Vapor Max back there. Two pairs of the Air Max 97. Also looks like some Hyperdunk Low. Electric Relish, um, solid, man. These will do well for you um, on Air Max Flying It. Looks like a Cortez Be True, uh, Vapor Max 2019. And this is probably that Salute to Service, maybe Giants or something like that from the other one. So Nike Flying It Air Max, that's a nice one. And what? forgot the size, 11 or 12. But yeah, solid pickups on that one. All right, Carolina Kicks, Ghost Collector, Daily Hustle, and Merch Mayhem. Now, I put these together, but these down here are a little special for me. So, Vapor Max 2019, we know these are solid pickups. So, Chinese New Year, we saw that one. We picked them up. The blue ones as well. I haven't seen the blue ones, though. But uh, 65, I don't know. really depends on the size. District deals for a fire. Bra bottom right, wow, exactly. So... This is uh, both of these you definitely want to get. So the Blazer Frog Skateboard, $36.99. And, man, let me see. You know what? Can we pull up? Um, I don't know if I can screen share, at least from uh, some of the eBay stuff, because this is <laughs> – I haven't seen it. I'm definitely going to be looking for it. So looks like people selling them right now. Uh, 129, 179, more listings coming in. But originally, they had them at like 290, uh, complete with box. People without box already selling them super low. Might be smart to pick them up. Um, there's a new listing right now, eight and a half new without box for a hundred dollars. Might be a nice little pickup, patient hold. And here is oh, silent flipper found them too. Nice. So here's a random. Trivia question, but do you know which basketball player wore this shoe? And do you know the model and what it's called? So a little question, trivia question, but I wish we had another giveaway. I probably should have held that one and made this one the real giveaway. Uh, if you know this one. So 
Let me see if I can uh, show you guys whatever I'm going to look at here. Uh, KG, no, Paper Drew, Timmy, exactly. So Tim Duncan for these. And uh, let's see, I do not, Doug the Pug. Um, so the this one is actually called Nike Total Air Foam Posit Max. And I don't know what the price was, though. So Daily Hustle, if you're out there, I don't know if they're watching, uh, but the price on these, I wish to know. But yeah, both of these, really, really special pickups there. So be on the lookout for those. All right, Burlington, four stars. And let me get this out of the way. Okay, so four stars here. Vapor Max again, Vapor Max Utility, Air Max 95s, Air Max 97s. So much stuff out there right now, Burlington. I think probably your best option. Beastie Boy knows how to win me and can the hustle be over by tagging us on this find of the day. And usually for out hustled, we see like one or two bags max. Full shelf of Butterfinger popcorn, insane. Just whole shelf, you got to get them all. This is, this is rare. Had to get the Butterfinger popcorn. Next one, Carolina Kicks, Hack in the Matrix. Super 6-4 and what and what bam flips. Always mess that name up. So Kobe's, which have been selling really, really well. Kobe ADs, this one in white and black. You guys have watched the videos. I have not seen this shoe. What's going on? We did not get them in El Paso area. I'm really, really disappointed at that. No Kobe ADs. I know they're selling well. Carolina kicks with... Uh, the football cleats out there, I think $16.99. Yeah, $16.99. Uh, you can't argue with that price. Hacking the Matrix with a Vapor Max easy pickup and some cleats out there. And then uh, Patriots free run. I may or may not have seen this shoe. And I decided to also uh, pick it up and let's see what happens. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kwani, watch all your videos. Appreciate that. Let's see, I found some gold Snoop Dogg cleats. Anybody else find them with the dollar signs all over? Sneaky feet. I'm um, seeing, bro, I see KD, oh, Kobe AD all the time. 16 plus, man. That sucks. I really wish they had some human sizes. Optimal kicks and Dylan Reef cle uh, cleats and District Deals and Hustle Crow 9. So Nike Tour Premier, $25. Good pickup there for the golf shoes. District deals, Romaleos, which are down to what, $25? I wonder what size these were. District deals will let us know. But $25, take that, Ross. And cleats, I'm glad cleats are still out there because I haven't seen cleats in about a couple of months. And good to see some vapors are out there. Optimal kicks as well. Also found some cleats. And um, let's see, I think also the Golf Premier back there, some Vapor Max. So nice little pickups. Solid pickups. Two cool cat finds. Hustle Crow, both with the cleats. Stuff Things Variety 19 uh, with the React at $60. And FC Finds and Deals, same thing. Premieres and uh, Vapor Max Utility and Carhartt 95s, which that one, awesome pickup. And size 11 in the chat. I don't know. Maybe your boy Hustler Hacks might want a pair. Size 11. I don't know. Keep them posted. Daily Hustle and Hustle Don't Stop 81. Still kicking its sports and Klausy Kicks. This is pretty good stuff right here. Air Max 97. Would you rock these? Like a nice little safari print on one of these uh, little line things here. Um, again, 97s. Klausy Kicks still kicking its sports with Air Max 98. Uh, women's size seven and a half and uh hustle don't stop with uh air max plus 97 at uh 60 dollars but that one says four and a half man that is tiny that is pretty much that's like a kid shoe that's like a toddler shoe uh really small i don't know what that one is but um if you do find a good size i think this is a really solid pickup as well for the air max plus 97 Something like that. Air Max Gods Extra Grands. Next one with Hustle Crow, Activate Hustle Mode, Murtown Merchant, and District Deals. All right, where do we start? Uh, Hustle Crow, Dornbecker. Very nice. One, two, or maybe two or three pairs here. 
And then the uh, Fanny Pack, $14.99 for the Air Max. I do like that one. Pretty cool. And Air Max 97, Dorn Becker as well. Also got some LeBrons. Then District Deals has to take it to another level with Vapor Max 2019. And of course, Dorn Becker 270s in a nine and a half, which is a great size. And $60, which is probably selling, I think, uh, last time I checked. 200 to like 225 range for this 270 it's insane so congrats district deals aaron you're finally at the video yes it did congrats on that one sneaky feet 200 plus is there a vapor max we can find at burlington um i don't think we've gotten to the vapor max finds yet have we i don't know we're getting there i got mine listed at 199 sneaky feet nice but solid would you rock these? That's that's a real question because I think they're pretty cool. Souls and Stitches, Super 6-4, and Clossy Kicks, and two cool cat finds. Air Max 97 in a totally different plaid looking. We haven't seen that one before. Two of them, Camo 97s at $60. Air Max 98, um, let me see, but cop in the Air Max 98. So he passed on some Vapor Max Super 6-4. And I uh, did get these. I have these. They haven't sold yet. And I do think um, I got a size 11. Um, so hopefully I can move those. All right. Now we're getting into Vapor Max stuff, which <laughs> I'm telling you, we've had so many tags this week. So utilities, a little quick comment about this utility. Gray with the yellow backing. The only size I've ever found was size 12 and a half. Now this week, two pairs out there, both of them 12 and a half. Two weeks ago, also found two pairs, 12 and a half. They're killing me with 12 and a half. And they're also priced a little bit higher. So I've seen people pass on them. I would pass on them if they're 12 and a half. Any other size, please, I would probably get them. Vapor Max Utility in black, that's easy money. I mean, this all black one and all red one, easy money on those. 2019, so these Vapor Max, two different colorways. And a Vapor Max Flyknit for Jasper the Hustler. This one, $70 and a size 5. So, and for this utility, I honestly don't think they ever gave us a chance at any other size because every reseller that I've talked to has only found 12 and a half in this particular color though. Not the other colors like these, the red ones, they found better sizes. But for this one, I think that's probably one that um, they're just trying to get rid of. Nike couldn't sell them. It's a weird size, so there you go. Here again, that same color, Brown Town Finds. I don't know. Oh, there we go. It looks like it's a better size. That one might say 10. If it is, Brown Town Finds I think is here in the chat but any other size 12 and a half you're winning thrifty scent unfortunately vapor max would be a size 15 those are huge soles and stitches came out a winner here right next to the sketchers <laughs> with the vapor max fly knit and then three pairs two pairs utility one pair of the 2019 i like this utility i like that color and of course we saw this one with gray and yellow uh tupac wavy what's up Everyone undercutting for Vapor Max. I mean, if they're undercutting though, I did buy a pair. I probably need to buy more. But if people are really undercutting, I think it's a good time to be a buyer. Not necessarily just for a collection, but to hold on to uh, to resell down the road. Uh, $70 for the utility in that maroon color. Good batch store size 9. Don Alpha Cleat who has been killing it every week on here. So I found that neon green one again black ones in here some other utility i don't even know what's in here another one here the white flying it Pfft, i don't know what's going on but him and district deals same area and they're just winning uh fc finds and deals two pairs here vapor max 2019 and a women's vapor max flying it in size 12 burlington 70 dollars in black i don't think you can lose with that colorway more vapor max common fan finds florida flipping closet kicks both pairs this one with the utility in red chinese new year this one which i did pick up and i did sell so this one's solid same thing with this one you will get some buyers 
Florida flipping and common fan finds with the 2019s. Now we're getting into cart full of pickups. Daily Hustle. Two pairs of the utilities. Found some tempos in there as well. Football cleats and the uh, Air Max 95. I forgot the official name. I know it has like a digital camo look. How do you feel about these? Smash or pass for the collection on these 95s. This particular colorway, the 95s. You guys can, let's see in the chat, um, Hustle Crow with uh, one, two, three, four pairs of the up-tempo, or three pairs of the up-tempos. Very solid and nice pickups there in silver. Uh, let me see what the chat says. So CE Camo, 95 CE. Uh, you walk into the store, you see someone with a cart like this. What do you do? <laughs> um, you offer them, first off, you try to find some other things, see what they left behind, because you know they're going to. Kind of create your own little cart full. And then uh, you ask them if you can trade something that uh, maybe they're dumb enough to fall for it. They might, they might not. And then, worst comes to worst, you just see, hey, how much you want for those? And you lowball them. <laughs> Try to get a good deal, especially if it's something you know you can make way more money on. I have a few 95 listed there bricks. Um, let me see. Ira says, my main Burlington is trash. I had some smaller suburban areas to find stuff. Um, you yell at them and say, what is the reason? Pass all around. Uh, Glenn never grabs a car in store. That's true. Uh, let me see. Sold none so far. I love music in all of those sizes. I don't like to hear that. Um, I think the only issue with this uh, shoe is that uh, the Nike outlets, some outlets did get them complete with box. So that is a factor. But I would look at some of the sizes, some of the ones that don't have a lot on eBay right now, uh, maybe like eight, nine. But I think the most of them were 10 and a half and 11, I think. Here we go, Elite Hustler 212 and Burning Red Beard 97s. Um, this time, the Seahawks uh, free, which is interesting. I saw the Patriots one earlier. Um, also found some other stuff. Can't even tell what that is. Uh, utilities, utilities, and again, I think those uh, Kim Jones one are also in here. Elite Hustler, so two solid posts. And, of course, our last one, Thrifting Together and District Deals, who went beast mode on the up-tempos. Come on, now, what is that? I don't even know what else is in the cart. This, he wasn't even done. There's other things in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs that I could count. I don't know how many other ones are out there. See, I'm losing my voice because this post... But thrifting together, though, I like it. 97s, 97 again, Carhartt 95s, good money on those. And uh, two, three, uh, two pairs of utilities, not bad at all. So um, solid finds there, too, thrifting together and district deals. And here we go. This week, rounded out, DD's discounts at five, TJ Maxx at four, Marshalls at three, Ross at two, Burlington at number one, and staying at number one again this week. We are done with the slideshow. So anything else? Any questions? Anything you want to throw out there? Anything you want to talk about? <laughs> um, I never find anything at Ross. I love music. Never. Ross, for me, this week, really, really dry. Um, what else was bad? Marshalls has just been trash right now. Uh, Burlington did come through, which will be my next video. I just got finished, um, editing the video. So that one you will like interesting video for this Friday. I caught a restock with four other resellers. So I think you will like this video. Uh, Savannah said, I found 13 pairs of those silver air up tempos. My local Burlington sold four so far. So congrats on that one. Savannah, 13 pairs. Uh, let me see. Mr. Hacks, you should be receiving a package. All right. TDBS Marketplace. Um, oh, yeah. Update also on the kids' cleats. So it looks like we got everything in. So I'm hoping next week I can go 
um, and give them the cleats and keep you guys all posted. So all of them are in and all of them got shipped in. So we're fine. We're done and we're good to go on, on that. Did you have to throw hands? No, I did not have to throw hands. Uh, but you'll like this video. Trust me. It was, it was really, really different. Uh, it caught me, uh, really, I was surprised. Let's see where I go. Did you see my cleat post? 65 bucks soccer cleats now at Ross three pairs of, and I did see, um, I think that one, I think there was another one. So $65 Ross. Now, if that's the price they want to go with, go ahead. Uh, because Burlington and Marshalls are going to go, and even Nike Outlet is cheaper than $65. Ross is going to end up losing money in that case because if they want to keep going up, fine. They're going to have to keep going down in clearance. They're just going to sit there. But if Burlington and Marshalls, which Burlington $16.99 still for football cleats are sticking with those prices, they're going to come out winner because people are going to keep buying them. So um you'll have uh ross must think they're the only dog in town which they're not you'll just go somewhere else and pick up cleats three other options cheaper than that you found the guy back dooring at burlington yet no uh let me see found superfly six elite at burlington uh let me see awesome way of getting me back extending opportunity to everyone exactly district deals appreciate that um also sad i know um, but if that's what they want to roll with, cool. They'll have to learn the hard way and they'll either keep that price and lose customers or they're going to go back to 20 or 24. Who knows? See, bet, best sizes for cleats to cop depends on the sport. Uh, soccer, probably anything from eight to nine and a half. Uh, no, actually, till 10 and a half. 10 and a half has actually been selling pretty, pretty good. Um, 10 and a half and 11 is the best for football. Uh, let's see how much some Vapor Max. Don't ask me. I haven't even found as many as I would like. I heard friends and family for next month. Talk to a Nike employee. Uh, friends and family should be the next one. I could definitely see that happening um, in October. It does make sense. I did go to the outlet today. It was bad. I mean, we're talking about no more MVP. This is what we're stuck with. And the prices were still up there. This is like the leftovers. <sighs> it was it was bad. It was rough. Let me go back up. Yeah, where were we? I got an email from someone. Extra grands. I got an email from someone on eBay wanted to know if they can purchase my sneakers that weren't selling. What would you do? Hmm. I would still email them and see, or you can say you're going to repost them. You're going to do something, uh, but I would definitely contact them again and see what they're interested in. Uh, let me go back up or where are we, what does someone say if RBX will RBX ever blow up? They won't. It's disgusting. How many RBX are out there? I wish Ross would come to NYC. Uh, I'm going to need to return my undefeated Kobe's. Man, Doug the Pug. Also, thanks for the video using MVP rewards. I needed help in this area. I bet this weekend Nike will have 30% off. I think they might too. Um, right now, they're doing 20% off. They might do an extra 30 on Friday. Uh, we shall see. But today, they had extra 20 on the back wall. Um, I sold some Legacy 312 Don C, green and pink, at my work for 100 and uh, got it Burlington for 54 Nice, nice little flip. I love music. Let me see, how about those X ray 270s? Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, holding on my undefeated Kobe's, the ones went up earlier last year from Sneaker Finds 12. Um, have you ever sold on Sideline Swap? Got contacted by the supposed owner of it, saying my inv inventory would be great on there. I haven't, uh, but that's interesting. I'll look into it. Copped Mellow 13s for $58 with MVP. Congrats on that one, too. I did get a pair, and I was like, you know what? They're not bad. I mean, the Mellow 13s. And when I first saw them, I was like, no way. I'm keeping these. But then I was like, should I keep these? They're actually not bad looking. We'll see what I do. Let me see. I have uh, Black Mambas. I'm going to hold. Personal pair. Prices don't go up. And I think that is it. So... Yeah, Friday video, Burlington, look out for that one. Monday video, I have no clue. I'm going to keep uh, trying to see what I can find out there for the rest of the week. 
And then next Wednesday, back at it again. And good luck on the Jordan 1s. If you do, look out and try to get those Jordan 1s uh, to resell. Try to get some small sizes. Look at your, what do we say, foot action and foot locker. And you can pick those up. So we'll see you guys, everybody, on Friday. And again, Monday video. And again, next Wednesday for the live show. So see ya. Go out and get it.